Well, it's early morning. The sun's just about to rise. Uh, it will in a few minutes. The sky's just nicely lit up at the moment. And it is freezing. It's about minus three at the moment. I think it was minus four during the night. So it's just one of those cold, frosty mornings where I just had to get up early and come out just to see what everything looked like and hopefully see some wildlife. I've already heard some scuffling in the bushes behind me and um, the pond here, you might be able to see, is completely frozen. So we might be able to get some cool shots of some water birds uh, walking on the ice. So I've been at this location for a little while now and I've been walking around, it's, it's really pretty here. Everything's frozen and it's sort of encased in a layer of frost. Um, but in terms of wildlife I haven't really seen much, there's not too much going on here. The most exciting thing I've seen was a group of red wing who hung around for just 30 seconds or so. I didn't even have the right lens on my camera so I couldn't get a picture. But um, I'm tempted to move on to a different location. I can go a bit further up the train track. It's only about another 10 minutes to a, a location that I was at recently and maybe I'll see some deer there. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. That coffee made me feel so much better. Yeah, I've just seen a buzzard fly away. Um, at least, I think it was a buzzard, that's what I'd like to believe anyway. And uh, on the way here I saw some deer from the train, so feeling better about this location. Quite excited to look around and see what there is. Today was one of those days where I was a bit tired, I could have really easily just stayed in bed. It was freezing outside and I wasn't really sure where I would go last night when I went to bed because I knew it was going to be a frosty morning so I kind of wanted to get up. But I think it's mornings like these when you don't feel like it that you just have to almost like even more importantly get up and just go because you never regret it. There's always something amazing that happens on those mornings when you just sort of have to almost like force yourself out of bed. It's worth it. Right now I'm shooting with 24 to 70, just getting some short clips and b-roll, things like that. But I think it's time to switch to the long lens.
no one here. Usually I see at least a few dog walkers, but I really am completely alone this time. And it's really nice. All I can hear is the hiss of a distant road and the dripping of water, the cracking of ice, and just birds. I saw a red kite fly over a minute ago. They're really cool. It's always nice to see one. It was against the white sky, so I didn't get any shots of it, but I did capture some footage. Just looking for the deer. They should be around here somewhere. So I've actually wandered off into this completely random side forest, just sort of exploring really and seeing if there's anything interesting around. And I did actually come across another group of red wing, or maybe the same group even. They were all uh, sitting on the ground and turning leaves over in quite a big flock, probably at least 20. Um, but no matter what I did, I just couldn't get close to them. I tried approaching really slowly, but even like 40, 50 meters away, with me being still kind of behind bushes, they seemed to be able to detect me and would start flying away. Well, at least I've seen them, at least I know they're here. I saw some nice horses in the woods earlier. It's kind of weird seeing horses in the middle of the forest yeah, when you're so used to seeing them in the fields. Or are they ponies? So yeah, it's easy to be a bit disappointed on days like this where, I mean, I've barely taken any pictures, a few of the horses, and that's about it. But as long as you just enjoy being out, that's the main thing, because then you can't lose. And there's always the way back. Oh yeah, one tip, if you're ever out in overcast conditions like today, and you're not sure about the lighting and which direction it's mostly coming from, um, hold up your hand and then look at the front and look at the back, turn around a bit. And as long as you're out in the open, that'll give you a pretty good sense of which direction the most light is coming from in the sky. Um, on some days it'll be completely evenly overcast and it won't matter which way, but um, quite often you'll have a, a much stronger light source coming from one side than the other. So you want to try and get on that side of your subject, if possible, to get the best lighting on them. Yes, I'm so happy. Just when I was getting frustrated and walking around and thinking, well, okay, I guess that's it for today. I'll have to get, start heading home. There was suddenly this deer just standing in front of me. Um, I didn't even see if she was there before or if she just, she must have stood up out of the grass. A uh, female roe deer. Uh, so I got out my camera, started filming some footage. The deer here are pretty good. They're not too shy. I think they're a bit nervous around dogs, but it's just me here at the moment, so I'm going to try and get a bit closer and hopefully they'll be comfortable with me and I'll be able to get some more pictures and some footage. Um, so yeah, this is turning out to be quite a good day after all.
happy with today. I think I've definitely got enough footage now to make a decent video. I hope you enjoy seeing uh, the Roe and her baby. This is the reason I like coming to this place. It's just a great place to see Roe deer. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, it's that red button down there so that you're notified when I post new videos, of which I have many coming. And you can follow me on Flickr and Instagram, just search for Rob Blight, and you'll see me on there. Oh, and if anyone's interested, I the gear I use is a Nikon D850 with a 500 millimeter f5.6 pf lens it's an amazing lens i just got it recently the d850 of course is amazing but um, i think most people know that by now and uh the thing i'm holding in my hand right now for vlogging talking to is the dji osmo pocket it's a great little vlogging camera and um, i use it for running sometimes as well which is quite cool and yeah if you have any burning questions or requests, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.